and it is official. BRCC and LSU are forming a relationship that comes close to home. Desiree Maduro explains how you might see some, LS some BRCC students on our very campus. You might be wondering, since when do bears and tigers live together? Well, expect that unusual housing arrangement this fall, when LSU and BRCC join forces in the Tiger Bridge program. Uh, my involvement, though, will be a part with the residential component, where they will all be housed in McVoy Hall, which is this building right behind us. So that McVoy Hall will be, well, will be completely full with the Tiger Bridge residents. BRCC students will have access to some of LSU's services and activities, including dining halls, health center, UREC, and athletic events. Several BRCC students think this program is for the greater good, and the benefits outweigh the cost. They are also very excited to see how the dynamics of these two schools play out. I think it's a good idea because a lot of people don't have the ACT score, so they come to a community college to, you know, get into colleges like LSU. Although most students believe this is a great program, others believe it is not necessarily a fair one. Personally, I mean, it does have its benefits, but I mean, I think you shouldn't be able to live on LSU's campus if you don't go to LSU. I mean, that should give you more incentive to want to try harder in school to get there. You know what I mean? So, I mean, but I'm not the one making the call, so. <laughs> this program is expected to form a partnership highly supported by the LA Grad Act, since it will improve higher education in Louisiana. For Tiger TV, I'm Desiree Maduro. A new transportation system between LSU Mass Transit and BRCC Shuttle Services will provide daily rides to and from both campuses.